Hey, what's up? We're playing some more pharmacy. It's been a couple of days. I have around $7,000. So I think it might be appropriate to start buying a few more shelves here and there. Maybe try to make the place look a little nicer. So vitamin stands, let's buy like four of those. Supplement stands, let's buy like six of those. How much is that going to cost me? Three. See, I feel like a couple episodes ago, that number would like bankrupt me but we're kind of chilling now i don't even uh you know kind of feeling like uh jeff bezos here right now all right let's get these um also i should i don't want to leave them like this but i think of how i do want to have them though i have an idea okay hold on i just had a brain blast call me <clears throat> give me neutron uh so maybe i'll have it like a sideways aisle and then what's nice about that is I can actually expand that when I move into this space over here. When I eventually do, I'll be able to just keep expanding it downwards. You feel me? So let's go ahead and do, is this a, what is this? Oh, this is a, is this a supplements thingy. Okay. So hold on. How many did I place? Okay, good. So I'm thinking is we just do one of these bad boys here. Okay, hold on. How far do... Do I for real need to be that far away? No way I need to be that far. That's crazy how far I need to be. Okay, I guess we go right here. Yeah, and we just have like an aisle here, and then we do the same with these. So we're gonna go ahead and do a little twisty right there. These, these can go back to back. Bang, right there. Yeah, we just have nice little aisles. Yeah, I think this could be cool. And then what's going to be nice is on the other end, obviously there's going to be like a flat area here. I could put like my computer behind that. Real question is how deep do I want this aisle? Do I put another one on? Hmm. Well, I guess for now since... Well, okay, hold on. Let me first fix this before somebody in the comments yells at me. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and fix that. Let's move these weights. Oh, and also the weights need to go somewhere. So I'll have to do that too. Let's see, how close can I get this one here? Okay, see, this one allows me to get up real close, nice and personal. Okay, like right there. Okay, we have a few more shelves to put down, so let's go ahead and grab these. And then we can kind of decide how far we want to push it into the actual store itself. I think we could probably do one more. At, at least a minimum on this side, I could definitely do one more. Yeah, like there. I mean, I guess I could shove the pharmacist over. Hold on. Actually, some of these I could probably just... Oh, this is empty. Oh, yeah, I forgot that I, like, put some of the boxes on the shelves and I totally... Just, oh, yeah, I just left them empty. And since I restarted my game, everything in this game, when you restart, it closes everything. So that means the boxes, too. All your boxes... Okay, see, I still have some. All the boxes get closed when you exit. Do I seriously not have... Okay. Oh, okay. Huh? Okay, I don't know where they went, but they went somewhere. Because I can't ask for more than that, right? Empty? Okay. No, let's just put the empty... Okay, no, never mind. I forgot that this game doesn't allow... Dude, hello? Close the box. This game... Doesn't allow you to put anything in the doorway. Which I guess makes sense, but it's also slightly annoying. Because I think the hitbox... But that doorway is just a little too big. But I understand AI pathing would probably have a aneurysm if I was able to put something right here. The ent entire game and the un ooh voice crack. The entire universe of this game would break down into the multiverse. I understand. Okay, theoretically, I should be able to move you over now. Except he's kind of like in the way. Okay, let's have you move forward. Okay, so now that he's moved forward, why can't I put that down? Stop, you know, stop snapping. Okay, so that's weird. It must be the shelves screwing with me. Uh, I mean, I don't particularly like how that... Oh, come on, don't make me... Oh, dude, you're gonna give me an OCD attack, bro. Okay, I guess you got to get moved first. 
Okay, you just like come on and waltz over here. Okay. Now uh, that you're over here. Okay, where can I I can put you right there? What about you? Are you gonna act up? See, you're gonna act oh wait, no, you're not gonna act up. Oh, look at that. That is the most flush thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh, look at that flushness. Oh, that's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Name me one more beautiful thing. or something more beautiful than this, I dare you. Challenge impossible. Get her another supplement. 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 Shelf. Oh, let's go back to... The, the sticky... Toggling. How many more do I have? If I have them, I might as well use them. I'll put one more right there. What is this? Okay, is this another? Ah, uh, okay, that's another vitamin. I'm sure I could... Wait, how many more do I need? Three? Okay, just three more. Which is actually not that expensive. Vitamin. Oh. oh god. My body's having an allergic reaction to me acting British. Bang. Bang. I'm the greatest pharmacy person ever exist. Does that look good? Are are we are we happy with this? Looks a little weird. I think it it would would it look less weird if I added two more vitamin shelves? It might look a little less weird if I did that. Let's just give it a whirl for the sake of... Yeah, whatever. You know what I mean? A, a worst case scenario, I sell the shelves back and call it Hunky Dory here. Oh, I totally forgot the doorway. I'm... Oh my god, they're actually allowing me to put stuff. Okay. Are we digging this? I mean, it feels a little weird, right? But I feel as far as, like, just inventory space, this allows me a lot of space. I almost feel like I just want to get rid of these two here, right? You guys don't think I'm crazy for just maybe wanting to get rid of those two? You know what? I'm going to waste a tiny bit of money here, and that's fine. I'm not going to trip about it. Oh, oops. Oh, I'm going to sell it. Okay, what are we thinking... I was, if I get rid of this one, I get rid of a little too much here. You know what I mean? Question, can I... If I can move this over here, it fixes everything. And no, I can't. Okay. Can I maybe just trick the game, or trick my senses and just kind of give that a little space? Make it at least flush? Hello? Hello? Yeah, maybe just kind of trick myself into assuming that it is placed correctly just by giving it a little bit more space on this end. And then once we expand, we'll we'll fix everything. Okay, there we go. Yeah, there we go. I, nope, nobody can tell the difference. Is that good? Does that look good from up high? Okay, hold on. That might cook. Okay, see, that cooks, because it doesn't give the illusion of, like, the middle being crowded. Okay, that kind of cooks. And then, I think the smartest thing will be, is putting the weights right over here. Let's go ahead and have the snap toggle. Like, although, I think for these ones, these ones don't really snap into place, so not like it matters if I have that on. And you know what? I don't see, like... A whole lot of people taking their measurements, their weight. But I'm, I'm just gonna buy like three more. Yeah, I think probably about three can fit. Again, now this is just a little extra spending, but I feel like it would just make the place look nicer to at least be somewhat so symmetrical i don't know maybe having more of these weights will make more people do it and it's free money i don't know if maybe the next time someone takes their weight i'll sit and watch but if i mean it's four dollars i think per 
So four dollars is four dollars, you know? I've said that many times in my life. What is this? Oh, this is this. This like for some reason like never gets sold, so I just have gigantic boxes of it left over. Are we chilling? Okay. I think we're gonna go back to the grind. I need to um, just restock most things. Really get these shelves filled up. Once I get these filled up with vitamins, I won't need to touch that for a long time. These supplements go off the shelves so quickly. So really, I'll be stocking this and they're big money makers. And then I will need to do another round of these first ones. It seems like the green, the whites are fine. Greens are fine. And I'll need to maybe do another round of the reds. Maybe these ones here need a bit more. But Okay, time for me to kind of just jump back into it. Yeah. If, oh, is there anything else I should do at this very moment? I don't think so. I think, I think we're... Okay, I, I think we should just I should just go on and just make a little bit more money and then when we get a bit more money we will move into this area so I could have more room for products because I eventually want to get to the point where I can have one entire shelf for one product. That way I don't have to restock like a crazy amount, you know what I mean? Okay. Let's go ahead. And, oh, and when I restarted my game this morning, the medications were not broken. So, for now, as long as I don't quit the game, uh, or I crash, these should not break. So, that's good. Alright, uh, time lapse. All right, everyone, it is the end of this day. I literally just came back from a quick jog. Let's take a look. We got 11,000 in the bank. Most of our meds are looking fine, except maybe a few of these non-prescription ones. Our supplements are doing okay, about half gone. Vitamins are doing phenomenal, and normal products are also doing pretty good. Yeah, considering how much was taken, which is not a lot, and still making 11,000. That's pretty crazy. Okay, let's go on to the next day, though. And I think it's maybe time to expand. Yeah, $7,000 in profit right there. Time to expand. I'm going to go ahead and leave this place as, like, storage still. But I do want to open up this shop. Okay, so rent is 75 That's fine. I could potentially buy that too, but I'm going to leave it. So, can I break down these walls? That's a real question. It looks like I can. Oh, okay. So, I'll have to break these. <clears throat> okay, so let's go ahead and break this. We're going to have to spend the first little while painting. And be being a carpenter for a little while. All right, let's go ahead and destroy this. And then honestly, I might want to invest in more shelves. That way I can have like an entire shelf for each of the meds. That would be kind of cool. Maybe I'll do that. Let me see. I'm going to go ahead and just get everything painted and tiled. And maybe we'll go from there. Luckily, the stuff isn't expensive. It's like $100 per thing. It's like not even that bad. And you know what? Maybe, just maybe, it's actually time to hire a third person, too. I think that might be the plan here, is to hire a third. Now with this expansion. Okay. But we have to buy <coughs> a lot of things here. Decoration. Okay, so we're going to... What? We had... I think I'm like 99% sure we're using... Oh, okay, we're using that black tile, okay. Yeah, honestly, I'm going to be completely truthful. I would have bought the wrong thing. Oof. Let's buy five of those. And we need white paint. Buy five of those. And we need the dark blue. Is it gray, green? Oh. Oh, navy blue. Okay, let's buy five of those. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, see, 1800 for 
an entire section of pharmacy doesn't even seem that bad anymore. Let's go ahead and drop that in there. Hmm, <coughs> where's the blue? I don't know which one's blue. Oh, wait, I need to get some lights too. I completely forgot about that. Yeah, let's go ahead. Oh, I, did I? Do I have to open them up? Oh, <coughs> I have to put the thingy. Right, 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 right. Okay, so this is white. So the this goes on the ceiling. God, this place is going to look so sick. And especially now with more room than ever. Dude, I'm going to add so many shelves. Because now we're kind of raking in the money. You know, like obviously we just got rid of like five or technically $6,000, but I mean, we're getting basically a whole new pharmacy for $6,000, and I'm, I'm making at least 7000 a day at this point. Or just a few days of AFKing, and we'll basically be there. All right, I'm just going to open them all up and just paint whatever's inside. So next one is a blue. Let's just go ahead. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay. I have to be somewhat close. Okay, no. Because I'm like, can I just like... Okay, so I have to be... Okay, so I can save a few milliseconds if I'm going for speed speedrun strats. I can kind of walk away from it and still be money. Do you guys want to speedrun the game? I guarantee you, if we speedrun it, I will be the first one. Um, in any category. Which now I'm kind of tempted. What kind of speedruns would... I mean, I guess you could do... Mm, like all medication any any all medication percent um you could do oh a level like uh level 30 any percent or you know level 50 any percent you could do like a hundred thousand dollars any percent i wonder what other things could you do let's bring in some more paint you know, one from the top, one from the bottom. One of these has got to be blue. The other one's got to be dark. Yeah, there we go. And more than likely, we have extra paint. That's fine. Oh, that's exactly why we have all of those storage places now. Which is nice. Yeah, I kind of delayed expanding our store just because I really wanted to get the original store kind of up and running real nicely. But I think... The goal for me with this game is to just have like multiple shelves for one product. Therefore, I will like not rarely have to stock, but hopefully I can go like a few days without stocking. I think that would be like the dream, you know what I mean? But now we also have the added benefit of having a warehouse. And since the warehouse is actually kind of close to the store now, I do have the option of storing stuff in there too. Okay, both, both, both those are empty. But I really, I really have to think about how I want to proceed now. You know what I mean? There's a lot of things that we can do. How many more blue things we got? Do I have to paint this one? Okay, what about... Is this one blue? Um, blue, bada, beta. Wait a minute. Did I seriously never paint the front of the store blue? Oh my god, you guys are probably yelling at your screens. Apparently, oh, wait, no. I think I'm fine. Okay, it might have been some part that I... Okay, maybe that is a new part. I was going to say, <coughs> no way I left that completely unpainted. Yeah, I think we're... What is this? Huh? Oh, I probably have to break that. That's kind of weird. Okay. Oh, and I, I have to buy that. You know what? Let's just buy it. And you know, once we buy it, it's not like we have to pay for it again. Don't we have to pay rent, though? Rent is 25. That's fine. I'll pay rent. Okay. There we go. So now we have the storage. So we can kind of go in and out from here. So I'll really have to figure out how I want to utilize that. Is this a trash can? Wait a minute. No way I have to run. 
all the way to that trash can? Okay, I guess I didn't think about that, but... Yeah, I would have assumed they would have put a trash can out front for me. But no, I actually have to run this one. Okay, that's a little interesting. I get maybe a little oversight by the developer. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, if I were the developer, I would really make it... I would add in a, a furniture item that is a trash can. And if you don't want to make it, like, too crazy, just make it to where... You can build a trash can in like three locations outside. So you can't like pick the spot outside and then don't make it placeable inside because that would be cheap because I can just, you know, go back and forth and that'd be a little too quick. But at least have just like three preset options of like where I can build a trash can out here. I think something like that isn't broken and I wouldn't, you know. Anyway, that's my idea to the developer. Just make... A spot here for a trash can that one's already there and make a spot there for a trash can and make us pay for that spot I don't know five hundred thousand dollars make us pay for the spot pay for the trash can and then it's just like permanently there for us to use and again don't allow trash cans inside now if you want her to be super nice maybe you can allow like one trash can inside honestly I wouldn't be against that because here is the one critique, and I know a lot of people have this this critique about this game, is that it's it's extremely stock heavy. So a lot of people don't want to keep playing and they kind of give up because like, oh, well, all I'm doing is stocking, which is true. Honestly, this entire game is just stocking, which I personally, whatever, I'm addicted, so not like it matters. My opinion doesn't matter, but uh, something to help avoid that, you could make it where I can build a trash can inside of the pharmacy, and I think that would maybe slightly take away from all those people saying like, oh, this is just a stocking game. And then that way, maybe I can focus more of my efforts on, hey, why don't I actually hop behind the counter and try to do something fun? You know, simulate the pharmacy. Because essentially, all I'm simulating is the tech who does inventory management. That's all I'm really, uh, you know, simulating and <clears throat> technically there's not like a tech position for that in normal pharmacies usually <clears throat> the pharmacist or th one of the lead techs they look at the inventory or the out of stocks they order what we need for the next day and then the techs the normal techs <clears throat> put away the medication if it's a c2 uh, the pharmacist has to sign off on it and then put it away um, different pharmacies have different rules regarding who can put away C2s. Um, some pharmacies, only pharmacists can touch C2s. And some pharmacies, only the pharmacists can retrieve the C2s, but pharmacy techs can count them. Uh, and some pharmacies, the techs can do everything, and in some pharmacies, techs can't do anything, and pharmacists do everything with C2s. So, that all depends on the pharmacy. It, um, it, it's one of those kind of rule sets based on, um where you're like appointing power. So the pharmacist, depending on how he feels about his employees, can basically give those powers to, you can do this, you can do that. But what was I even talking about? Oh yeah, and then, yeah, usually the order is received and then the non-tech, or not the non-techs, the techs usually put away the order. <clears throat> if it's a C2, again, the pharmacist might put that away. But so apparently that's all I'm doing, is I'm looking at inventory, I'm ordering it, and then techs can, I don't know if I'm ordering, but techs can also do the ordering too. Um. I'm ordering it, I'm receiving it, I'm putting it away. So I'm essentially just doing a tech job right now, which is kind of funny. Okay, but the tile is in, everything is painted. So now it is time for lights. And I'm gonna be hundo percent with you. I actually forgot about the lights, but they shouldn't be too expensive, right? We might end up, actually I almost guarantee we're gonna end up going through this whole 11,000, but because I still need to buy the actual they're pharmacists too, so let's just buy... Ah, uh, let's, let's just buy 15. How much is that going to be? See, I thought that would be like $3,000. <clears> I didn't feel like doing the quick math. Alright, let's see. Um, Okay, I think the light would be good, like right about... What's the difference distance between... Oh, there's like a large distance between these lights. Yeah, I think something like right here would be good. Oh, see, I got to run all the way over here just for the lights. I kind of understand though. Put one right here. 
Okay. Actually, I might have ordered the perfect amount because this way I can have basically three more rows, right? Three more rows. And then five lights in each. And I know these ones are still kind of jacked up. I understand. And they're probably going to just like stay jacked up for a while. Uh, yeah, like right. Well, okay, never mind. I guess we won't have five in each. Maybe I can stick some in the middles. But for now, let's just make sure the whole place is at least nice and lit up. Right here. Yeah, seems about fine. And then we'll have to look at <clears throat> what farm assist we want to hire. It's going to be a big decision here. Where we have Karen and John. The I swear they're married. I don't. I don't think the game ever outright says that they're married. But I'm my mom, brother married. I mean, they have the same last name. What are the chances of two people in being adults of the same age that have the same last? Okay, maybe that's um, that's probably a lot of people. I'm kind of saying stupid things now, but I'm st I'm still I'm just saying, bro. You'd be surprised the amount of people, specifically in pharmacy, the majority if they meet a partner during their schooling, it's likely like very very likely it's someone that they went to school with or met during a rotation. Can I move this? Oh, I probably have to go to my hands, don't I? Like, I think everybody I know in pharmacy school that en ended up finding a partner during pharmacy school was from pharmacy school. And I mean, that's only natural, you know, pharmacy school is a struggle. You tend to meet people and get comforted by people around you who are also going through a similar struggle. So, you know, pharmacy school. All right. So this is all good. I think we should spend the last of our money to get a third pharmacist. I don't know if this is even a good idea. I don't know if the second I buy it, I get more people. I kind of hope. Oh, also the register was 2,500 before. So they lowered price. And it's also very interesting that they did that. What are, oh, are these all lights? Oops. I mean, I guess we can put some extra lights in. I mean, it, it, it won't look completely similar, but screw it. Let's just put, I think we could put a light here too. You know, if I have the lights, I might as well put them up. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I think this one looks like there's something missing. Bro, I gotta sneeze so bad. Wait, is there... <laughs> Bless me. Thank you. Okay. All right. Um, ooh, right there. Okay. Maybe we'll add some shelves behind. See, now my problem is I got the store nice and tidy and dandy. And now I'm going to have to more than likely <laughs> redo the place because... Now we have so much more area of the place down. I mean, I don't know. Oh, let me just finish these lights. I'm not going to be able to focus until I finish these lights. Let's put one there. Like for these products, 100% I'm having one shelf for each of the products. Same with the meds. That's my goal for both of these. One shelf, all one product. It means I'm going to have to buy a lot more shelves, but... That's not going to be hard to do. I'll make my money pretty quick. So four, 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 four. Okay, all of it, all of them have four now. So everything's all nice and even. I think I might just add a light right there. And then nobody will ever know. Okay, for a second, I, I had an aneurysm. And I'm like, where's my desk? I already put it down, David. Calm down. The game did not steal your desk. All right. Recruitment. All right, so we got Karen and John Silver Sword. Top tier pharmacists, right? I mean, the obvious choice would be to go to Elizabeth Becker here. She went to Mueller Pharmacy and Frankfurt Pharmacy. Recruitment fees 300. Honestly, salary of 120 ain't even that bad. I'm not gonna hire Bilal again. That dude sucked. Manual. Mm mm. All right, we're going with Elizabeth. I mean, there wasn't really much of a choice to be honest. But I'm very curious. Is she? A Your name is not Elizabeth Becker. Your name is Elizabeth? This is Bilal, bro. I know what Bilal looks like. <clears throat> no way that's Elizabeth Becker. Elizabeth? 
with the turkey hair transplant that's crazy okay whatever as long as you do the, your job elizabeth i could care less but you better do your job okay <clears throat> are these okay we need to take these to the trash and i don't know why i can't throw things away in here it's like trash can trash can this trash can just looks a little uglier i don't know why i can't well okay maybe that's like a city trash this is a personal private i don't know whatever trash is trash but I think, yeah, now we're going to have to basically redo everything because. Here's what I'm thinking, though. I should really, before I do anything drastic, I should just get more money. Because obviously I'm going to have to buy, off rip, more product shelves. That's like the biggest thing is more product shelves. I think I need to make a little bit more money. So I think what we're going to do here open up the pharmacy we're gonna go ahead and let one more day run it should make me another seven thousand using that seven thousand i should in theory be able to buy like everything that i need as far as like furniture i should be able to buy all of the shelves that i need to fill this place and then we'll worry about the stocking after okay we're back in we got one more customer to go i think we're chilling right all right we're chilling yeah i mean i ended up with thirteen thousand today so i don't know if the extra cashier brought in more customers to sell more stuff but we made more money so we went from 7k into 6k okay so we made less i don't know why i mean i have third oh Oh, well, 2000 got taken away for fees. Okay, I understand. Okay, <clears throat> I think it's time to expand. We need expansion. Domain expansion. Uh, why am I over here? Okay, furniture. So let's buy... You know what? Let's just buy, like, hella supplement stands. What? Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's, you gotta slow your roll. Let's just buy 10. And same deal here. Just buy 10. Ooh... Hold on. Actually, I don't need as many vitamin stands. Let's just buy, like, five. What the really thing we need is these product shelves. And actually, these we will buy 15 of. Okay, 3,000 is not even that bad for 15. I mean, that's only going to cover these three, essentially. So we'll definitely need many, many more. Okay, what are these? Are these all... Sh okay, so this is product shelf. Okay, so we got to figure out what we want to do now. Okay, so... <coughs> Um, here's my idea. I want this to be infinitely expandable in that direction or that that direction, right? Because when I expand into there, I just want to continue what I have here to go into there. So I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. I could put aisles in this direction, but I feel at that point we would just have like too many ends. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm actually thinking is I just continue this all the way down. The other thing we could do is just break up the store by section and just put like all products here, all vitamins here. And that might not be a terrible idea, but then once we expand into there, it's going to change a little bit. Okay, just give me like half a second and let me just like brainstorm. <clears throat> 